Hey folks, welcome to the channel, Pewter City Gym. We are going to go ahead and do a Let's Play of uh, Pokemon Shining Pearl today. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously just came out this morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick our language, English. Uh, yes, we would. Okay, so very excited for this. Uh, I did a video talking about the, uh, the team that I was going to uh, try and assemble. Um, actually, funny thing, didn't realize Gligar was a Virgin exclusive for Diamond, but a super helpful commenter went ahead and pointed that out for me, so thank you very much. I do appreciate that. That might have saved me, uh, you know, some frustrating uh, Pokemon hunting down underneath Cycling Road. We're going to go ahead and trade one in from my wife's game when she gets up to the, uh, to the requisite point. But without further ado, let's carry on. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, Professor Rowan. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I think we're all aware. Ah, Munchlax, so cute. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. But what do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Okay, so that's pretty much us. And our name, unsurprisingly, is going to be Jim. I'm playing this with the uh, with the two Joy Cons, so a little bit f more free form than using the uh, the Pro Controller. Your name is Jim. Yep, last time I checked. A fine name that is. Why? Thank you. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What hit might his name be? So I have a tradition with uh, with these games. I always name Barry here after my little brother Luke because this guy has big Luke energy all right Luke is it that's your friend's name yes all right Jim the time has come your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold on your journey you will meet countless Pokemon and people I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. I like the way that uh, that Rowan is dressed here. Very dapper. I'm a big fan of vests. Sweater vests specifically. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded direction. Detection. Direction detection? The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That's because uh, Gold caught it already, or Ethan, or whatever you want to call him. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Oh my god, we're so adorable. Why are we wearing our backpack in our room? Okay, I'm a little stretch there. Let's see. Let's take it. I don't know why. I... Oh, there we go. Okay. For some reason, this Joy-Con was impaired. Okay. <laughs> I'm a professional, ladies and gentlemen. So, oh my god, look at how cute our room is. Got a little Switch here. It's the latest game console in Nintendo Switch. But is it the Switch OLED? You check the PC. Pokemon Basics. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon Trainers. We know that well, don't we, guys? Oh. Okay. What's up, Mom? Jim, Luke came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Okay. Ooh. This is not a very exciting show. It's just a still image of a chancy. Here we are. It's the Contest Digest. The star of the... T t t t 
Oh man, I can talk. The star of the show in today's normal rant cleverness content is Westley, who won his particularly well-groomed Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. Okay. Oh my god. Is this food? It looks like a dog bowl. Ruff, ruff. Okay. Ooh. Oh yes, Jim. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Wow, thanks for rubbing it in, Mom. Okay. So here's our little house. Oh, this is the Technology is Amazing guy, right? Technology just blows me away! I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly? What? I know, very exciting. Welcome to 2003. Oh. Did you hear? The Pokemon professor turned to the next town over. Okay. They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Hello, child. Listen, listen, Jim. I want to keep Pokemon. Okay. Well, you can probably get one. There's Starly and Bidoofs and all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see. Is this Lucas's house? I think so. Boop. Oh, there he is. Oh, see, we even look like brothers here. Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Jim. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too. And be quick about it. Okay, Jim, I'm finding you one million if you're late. You know I don't have that kind of money, man. What you trying to do to me? Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Hmm. Oh, hi, Jim. Are you looking for Luke? He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. I'd better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, Jim. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's t a 10 million fine if you're late. Wow. I don't know who he takes after in terms of movement speed, but I think he takes after, like, the mafia in terms of his, uh... His proclivity for taking my money. Gee whiz. Okay, so I can't run yet. Oh, who's this person? Hey, Jim, you're looking for Luke? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? You know what? I think I will. Oh, there he is. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Sure. The Verity Lakefront. Okay. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. I like how the the pathway to the lake just has a giant tree like right in the middle. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regards to our studies. He's like, get out of the way, children. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. Okay, bye, Dawn. What was that about? Those two? You know who his hair reminds me of? Uh, that one scene in Ace Ventura. I'll go ahead and pop up a screenshot. Huh? Jim, let's go check it out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Ooh. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try and return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Uh-oh! 
Ah, Pokemon. What's going on? All right. So, as per the team setup video, we're going to go ahead and pick Piplup. Which should be this guy. Yep. Will you choose the penguin Pokemon Piplup? Yes, we will. Oh, so cute. Okay. So the funny thing is, my little brother usually picks uh, Piplup as well um, in his Sinnoh run-throughs, and he always names it Pingu, after a very funny little uh, stop-motion uh, cartoon from, from when we were kids. Okay. Well, I feel like in this battle of Burb versus Burb, we're gonna win. Uh oh. Starly is so cute, though. Alright. Your Pokemon gained AXP points. I would think so. Okay, so we got a boy Piplup. That's normal. Ha! Your Piplup totally rocked! But my Turtwig was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? We completely messed up the EV training on these guys. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. <gasps> oh no! Did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor gonna say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. With its chimchar. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Jim. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. No, we're not going to be. It's fine. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Okay. Let's go. So, oh, there we are. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Probably. We did just do a theft. Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Piplup and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. It's rocking a fairly impressive mullet. Oh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Bye, Dawn. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? Jim, we should go home too. Oh, okay. I guess we're just gonna do that. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Luke are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of San Gem Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Jim, I think you need to visit him in San Gem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll understand. Oh, I know, Jim. Put these on. Yay, finally we can run around. Going to San Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Sure. Okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. Oh, wow, look at the cloud shadows. So nice. Okay, so we're going to Sand Gem Town. Let's see how fast we can get there. I'm sure Lucas is going to fine us $20 billion if we don't get there fast. Uh-oh. Oh. Bidoof is so cute. I love the early, early route rodents. I don't think there's a single one where I'm like, no. I'd rather not.
Maybe Pat Rat. Maybe. I mean, I like Pat Rat. I just don't like Watchog. And honestly, not like is kind of a strong way to put it. I, it's just, it's not, you know. It's not my cup of tea, but I know that every Pokemon is somebody's favorite. And that's what makes this game fun. So I've never really used a Piplup before. Um, which is the reason that I picked it as a starter. Because I'm not the biggest fan of Empoleon, to be honest. I, I, I'm i not really a huge fan of the way that it looks. I love the typing. Uh, that water steel typing is amazing. But, uh, yeah, not the, not the, the biggest fan. Oh, there we go. Hi, Dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Sorry I messed up the EV training on your Pokemon. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez, he did get here before us. What the? Oh, it's you, Jim. That old guy. He's not scary so much as he's totally out there. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter, Jim. I'm out of here. See you later. Bye. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Finally, you've come, Jim. Oh, you've come! Jim, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, we would. We absolutely would. So, being that uh, Lucas always starts with a Piplup called Pingu, I'm going to go ahead and name ours Newt Newt, which is the noise that Pingu makes. That's just a little tribute to my my younger brother so actually speaking of uh, the first time around for Sinnoh my wife did a little experiment once where she evolved her starter before coming back to this point and uh, Professor Rowan comments on it like oh wow you evolved it already so that's kind of a nifty little touch but I don't want to I don't want to take the time to do that here hmm okay I see and you're happy with that nickname yes your friend Luke told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplup. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Gee whiz, Dawn. Scary. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Good answer. Alright, we got the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Jim, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too, says Dawn. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Jim, your grand adventure begins right now. Okay, Bobblehead Rowan. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. That's a lie. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Jim. Okay, there we go. Go on. Jim, your grand adventurer awaits you. Yay. I'm Dawn's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. Haha, <laughs> uh, I'm sure we can count on you. Probably. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Oh, Oak. Okay. Okay, Jim, I'll act as your mentor. 
I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. Alright, doesn't seem like I've got that much of a choice. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. This is so cute. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Jim, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. I, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, that's right, Jim. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. I don't think we even really need to heal up, because we are, uh, we, we didn't get hurt. Because the bond between us and Newt Newt is very strong. We're going to jump down here. Ah. Okay, let's go to our house. Welcome home, Jim. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. What the heck? Okay. What's up, Jim? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Jim. I've got something that you'll find useful. we got the guidebook. Okay. You put the guidebook in the bag's key item pocket. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you're curious about something or have questions during your adventure. You may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I mean, nothing's stopping you, Mom. I'm just joking, Jim. I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please, come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Okay, so we got the guidebook. Oh! Excuse me, is my little Luke here? Oh, no he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure and then he bolted. Oh, he's like Frodo! He's so headstrong and reckless. No, it was Bilbo. It was Bilbo. My bad. It was Bilbo. I'm going on an adventure. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Jim will deliver that to him. Oh, thanks, guys. Won't you, Jim? No. He can come back and get it himself. Oh, really? You'd do that for me. Jim, please take this to Luke. Okay, we got a parcel. You put the parcel in your bag's key items pocket. Bye bye Jim, enjoy your adventure! Let me think, knowing my boy he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Luke. Okay, well... Oh Jim, you're forgetting something important. What? Oh, a little hat. I actually prefer the look of the model without the hat, but... Yes, that hat always did suit you well Jim. Now off you go! Yay! Okay, so we gotta go to Jubilife City as well. Very exciting. Whoa! Okay, we got the Wild Bidoof here again. Come on, Newt Newt, let's do it! It's always so annoying with Growl, because it just means that the battle takes that much longer. Oh my gosh. Is that all this Badoof can do? It doesn't have Tackle? Okay. There you go, Badoof. That'll teach you. That'll teach you for trying to throw paws with us. Newt Newt grew to level 6. Alright. And we learned Water Gun, finally. We got a stab move. Gotta love that. 
Ah. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. So if you're wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, then stay out of the tall grass. That seems intuitive, you know? Uh, let's see. Well, we're not going to talk to every M. Well, we'll talk to most of the NPCs. If your Pokemon's health, its HP is getting low, you should go to a Pokemon Center. Oh, thank you. I'm going to talk to... You know, I, I wonder if there's, a, like, somebody that gives you a potion or something, but then again, it's just like, well, we have our own money. So let's get some Pokeballs. Hello, may I help you? I'm here to buy Pokeball. Let's see, do we get a Premier Ball if we buy ten? There you are. Thank you. You put ten Pokeballs. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pro, uh, Premier Ball. Let's grab a couple of potions as well. And we'll grab a couple of these guys. Whoa! I did not want to do that. Using the analog sticks just makes this a little fussy. Okay, and then Paralyze Heal as well. We'll do five of those as well, and... Wow, we start off with a lot of money in this game. Usually I think it's like three grand, and this one we, we've spent so much and we still have three grand left. Uh, no thanks. Do come again. Sure. Actually, I have the pre-order code to, uh, or the special code to get the uh, the 200 Pokeballs, so I'll, I'll probably load that up next time. Oh, that's right. Jim, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? No, that's fine. I already know how. Oh. All right, Dawn is going to catch the mighty Bidoof. Chimchar. So cute. Okay. Oh, what you gonna do, Dawn? You gonna throw a Pokeball? Well, for getting a head start on me, Dawn, your Chimchar is still only level 5, so... I feel like there's room for improvement here. Okay. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Jim, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Okay. The balls pocket. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going now. Bye. Bye, Dawn. Uh oh. Wow, sure is Bidoof's up in here. So I want to at least catch our second team member before we end the episode, so... Forgive me if this runs a little long. I'll try and keep the episode somewhere between 20 minutes and half an hour, but, uh... Sometimes you just get carried away and you forget to set a timer, which is exactly what I did. So, again, folks, I am a professional. I think Bidoof gives you the uh, an HP EV, so that's not terrible. I don't feel like uh, we need the speed EVs from the Starly for... Oh my gosh. Oh, speak of the burb. Wild Starly. Alright. Well, let's go water gun. Ah, your growl does not affect the potency of my water gun. If it manages to survive this, I think we should catch it. Nope. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like this is earlier than you normally got Shanks back in the day. Maybe I'm wrong, but, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like it, you only got access to Shanks after Jubilife City before. Nice. Level 7. Maybe we can get Badu here as well. Uh oh. Alright, time to fight preschoolers. Our eyes met, so battle we must. Okay. I will dub this youngster Baby Yoda. Okay. Ooh, I like the the battle theme for uh Whoa. For the trainer battles. I mean the soundtrack for uh this this generation, like you know, the originals was pretty awesome, so nice to know that some things never change. Alright, Tristan. beat you I did too strong too strong that's right I am far too strong uh oh I spy with my little eye a trainer battle please absolutely last Natalie Okay, more Bidoofs. We are getting a little low on HP. Oh wow, but not low enough that I'm worried. Okay, another Bidoof. Whoa, hello. Dang. Okay, we defeated last Natalie there. Oh, she looks so sad. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, man. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Sure. I figured that's what we were going to do. Okay, youngster Logan. Hmm. Now, hopefully this thing doesn't have any stab moves just yet. Because that might be trouble. Come on, Newt Newt. You can do it, buddy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Was not expecting that quick of a victory there. <laughs> You're like, wow. Okay. Let's see. Yay, we're in Jubilife City. Oh, there's Dawn. Hi, Jim. Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jubilife City, there's the trainer school, which, well, you know. Jim, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes. Luke went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. Ha. You don't even know. We don't need to catch any more Pokemon just yet. We are very strong. We're knocking people out in one hit. It's pretty, pretty incredible. Oh. Everyone looks so cute in this game. They just remind me of the little Fisher Price men. Like, you know, the the little little people or little friends or whatever they're called. Oh, 
All right. So I think let's try heading north because I'm pretty sure that we can get Badu there. That's going to be the next member of the team. Uh oh. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Well, I mean, sure. Last Sarah. Oh, yes. So weak compared to your mighty Bidoof. Mmm. Defense girl. Not the best strategy. I love the uh, the stat raising and, and decreasing animations. They look really cool. It's like Bidoof's going Super Saiyan. Well, actually, that looks more like Kaioken. Okay. Alright, Les Sarah, what else you got? I look so weak. What else you got for me? Okay, last Sarah. So, um, another thing, just in case you uh, you didn't catch the video where I, I talk about setting this team up, we're not going to evolve anything until after the Elite Four. Yeah, there we go. First encounter. All right, we got to be careful. We don't want to knock it out. Okay. We'll use one again. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this might be a little bit more challenging. Because I think the only move that it actually has is a Zorb at this point. I want to try and catch him in the, uh, the Premier Ball, or her, I should say. Oh, man. I don't want to risk doing a pound, because I feel like a pound is going to knock it out. Okay. Uh, let's, let's try, because if it gets a crit, we're in trouble. Let's see. Let's go for the Premier Ball. Knock on wood, guys. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! All right. We got party member number two. But whose data will be added to the Pokedex. Oh my god, it's so cute. It lives alongside clear ponds. It scatters pollen that induces harsh sneezing and runny noses. Actually, if I sound a little bit nasal today, that's just because my allergies are kicking up. I guess we do want to give it a nickname, and its name will be Buddy, because I am about as original as your average boiled potato. But, that doesn't mean that it's wrong, because it is going to be our Buddy. Buddy has been added to your party. Yay! Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and heal up, and I think that should be the end of the episode. I want to thank you for uh, tuning in, checking it out. Uh, hopefully you guys are as excited for these games as I am. Uh, I've been waiting very, very anxiously for them, and uh, I hope that we have a really good time playing together. Uh, you're being with uh, Pewter City Jim, and I will see you in the next video. Take care! Bye!